All right, now here is something important I wanted to discuss with you guys. Now, one of the subscribers recently emailed me mentioning that he has been facing some issue on his Galaxy phones. He says, I have an issue with the sharing photos or screenshot, etc., from Samsung Gallery to WhatsApp. The format will be bin, B I N, instead of JPG. Please guide me how to set right tweaking the settings in gallery application or Samsung settings. Now this is an email from one of the subscribers, but there are many other subscribers, many other viewers who have been mentioning this issue. Whenever you are attaching an image on WhatsApp, the image is getting attached in bin format and that is not openable on your Galaxy phone. Now I have opened this contact. Now, as you can see, this file is showing in BIN format. Let me show you how this happens. Let's go to Samsung gallery and let me open this particular image. I'll tap on share and I will send it on WhatsApp from the share menu. Let me tap on WhatsApp here. I'll select the contact and I'll send it. Now, as you can see, it is showing this particular file in BIN, which is bin format. And when I send that image, it is going in bin format. And when I tap on this uh, file to open it, it is not showing me the gallery or any other uh, application here to open that particular file. It just shows Samsung Health, Google Wallet and Nova Launcher. Now, this file is not openable on Samsung Galaxy phones. Now, if I send that image to another contact here, let me just do this again. I will tap on WhatsApp here and I'll send it to my another contact that I have on my other phone. Let me send it. It's still going in bin format. And on the iPhone, I'm able to open this particular image. As you can see, this file is available in PNG format and I can tap on this to open that file on iPhone, but that is not happening on the Samsung Galaxy phones. I'm not able to open this particular file, which is in bin format. And if somebody receives this file, when you share it from gallery on WhatsApp or any other uh, application, they may not be able to open this file. Now, before we go ahead and check out the solution for this, let's ask Google, what is this bin format all about? It says a bin file is a binary file which stores data in a format that is directly understandable by a computer. It's often used for executable programs, libraries, or other types of data that need to be processed directly by the machine. Now, why is this file being uh, converted into bin file while sending this on WhatsApp? Let me tell you the reason and let me share you what is causing this particular issue. Let's go to the settings here. I'll tap on security and privacy. Now we got this auto blocker feature uh, on One UI 6 and on One UI 6.1 upgrade, Samsung also added another option here called maximum restriction. Provides extra strong protection for people who need more security. Some of your phone's feature may be restricted. Now this is what is causing that issue. Let me tap on this. You see, I have enabled this particular feature. Now, if I disable this, and then I go to gallery and tap on share and select the contact here and select the contact here and send it and select the contact here and send it. Now you can see it is going in JPG format. And if I uh, enable this particular feature, the maximum restrictions, and then go to gallery here, tap on share, I'll send it. You can see it is being converted to bin format. Even though it says this file is in .png format, it is a bin file which is being uh, shared on WhatsApp. So make sure you disable this particular option so that whenever you are sharing the files directly from the gallery onto WhatsApp or on any other uh, application, the file goes in JPG format. So that is the solution for this. Now, this particular feature is actually not needed. It turns on app protection. Apps installed on your phone will be checked for malicious activities, which is anyways there by default on the Google Play Store. Whenever you download an application, uh, it does scan for the applications on device. If you want to go ahead and scan it manually, you can do that as well on the settings, on the security settings. And then we have got blocks, device, admin applications, blocks auto downloading attachments, blocks hyperlinks and previews, removes location data when sharing pictures, block shared albums, removes location data when sharing pictures. Now here, this is a very important one here, blocks hyperlinks and previews, prevents preview images and hyperlinks from appearing uh, when you receive a message that includes a web address. This helps protect you from accidentally visiting malicious website. Now this is a very good feature. However, if you enable this, there are a lot of other features which will go missing. So you have to make sure you disable this feature and be careful whenever you are opening a link on your uh, you know application on your phone. Just make sure you are clicking the right link, you're getting the link from uh, the uh, trusted sources. You just gotta be very careful when you're opening the hyperlinks or previews of the links. All this while we did not have this particular feature. So you might as well turn this off just in case if you don't need them. But if you turn this on, definitely it will give you extra protection. Now let me tell you another useful option. Let's say if you have enabled this uh, particular feature, you will still be able to send images in JPG format. For that, what you need to do is you should not go to gallery and then share the image here. 
you should directly go to the WhatsApp and then attach the file. Let me attach a file here. I'll attach the same file. Now you can see it is not getting converted to bin format. You can directly send it even when this particular feature is enabled here. So we have got two options. One is enable this and share the files not from the gallery directly from WhatsApp. You can attach it or you can disable this and uh, share the files directly from the gallery itself on any other third party application. So that is what you need to do. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know whether you have faced this issue on your Galaxy phones. Drop a comment and if you're interested in this wallpaper, the link is in the description. You can go ahead and download it. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, subscribe, give this video a like if you find this video informative. You get to learn a lot about uh, your Galaxy phones, Android phones, Galaxy watches, and many other tech related contents will be posted on the channel, including tips and tricks and some important updates for your devices. So go ahead, become a part of Apex community. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye bye.